Anne Marie, thanks for being with us today. Thanks so much for having me, Dave. Now, Amosites built the most advanced AI platform for the delivery of content for business, higher ed, K through 12. I want to start today with an overview of your technology platform. Thank you, Dave. Our technology platform was built to solve enterprise scale problems. It was not built as a document repository or an interaction light platform. It was built specifically to be able to launch any kind of curriculum, any kind of training anywhere globally. Because of that, it's completely modular. It's built with completely modern uh, code elements, and it also utilizes best in class artificial intelligence. Well, Anne Marie, it's a it's a fast growing space. It's a I said two hundred billion dollar industry. Coursera, uh, ed tech company, just IPO'd at a, a four point two billion dollar market cap. Your technology, uh, Wayne State University, uh, people there have actually said your platform is the most advanced online learning delivery platform in the industry. Tell us about the partnership with Wayne State University. Thank you. Yeah, it's a thrilling partnership. Wayne State is uh, an exemplary university. They're located in Midtown Detroit, and they do a lot of heavy lifting of education of engineers for the auto industry and manufacturing industry. And as such, they are uh, very, very focused on delivering for their alumni in those, in those cohorts. Uh, the reality is a lot of people went to school for things like I did, like mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or civil engineering, but they're now building vehicles of the future, electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, and they need to be upskilled. Additionally, even for people who are not building different kinds of vehicles or doing different kinds of manufacturing, data, it's a cliche now, but data has become the new oil. And the reality is more and more people will have to be able to have some competency in, in data analytics. Wayne State recognized this and had no programs for alumni, but worked with us we built the programs and we launched them on our best-in-class platform. The results have been astonishing. Nearly 100% retention across all of the programs. And as uh, Dean Fatui at Wayne State University likes to say, it's not just important to build programs, it's important to build programs that people complete. Using the AI in our platform, we drive engagement, and therefore the attrition is very low, retention is very high, people complete, and people can go get more high paying jobs and be more economically stable. So you created the curriculum itself and you have the delivery platform. Let's talk about uh, what you did for the Henry Ford Museum. The Henry Ford Museum is an iconic institution. It's one of the most important museums in the nation with millions of artifacts. Uh, and it has a mission of driving innovation. The Henry Ford Museum had no digital footprint in terms of learning but it was a key objective of the institution to deliver learning programs, and particularly education of teachers. Henry Ford worked with us and we launched InHub, a completely branded to Henry Ford Museum's uh, brand, and now they can deliver any learning they'd like to deliver. We call these learning communities LCEs, or learning community environments. The Henry Ford has ambitions not only to train one cohort or two, but potentially many. InHub is uh, out of the box scalable and has infinite scalability essentially. So it can launch programs globally for any kind of cohort and drive community engagement and engagement with the museum. All on Henry Ford's brand and now Henry Ford went from no digital learning presence to being able to deliver anything globally at any time and they couldn't be more thrilled and we're thrilled to be their partner. Excellent. You recently announced the launch of Warrior Tech Source solution that targets professionals in the automotive engineering industry. Tell us about this solution. This solution is Wayne State's branded uh, solution to educate people in the automotive and manufacturing industries. And it offers a wide range of courses that allow upskilling and also are in high demand by industry. It is also a turnkey system. So we built not only the course materials, but also launched it on the technologically advanced platform. Because of that, people taking the courses on Wayne State's platform uh, do not need to have credentials from multiple platforms in order to engage in a learning experience. Streaming video, group projects, workbooks, logbooks, even whiteboards can all be accomplished on the Amosite platform. Excellent. Tell us about this uh, dashboard that you built. It's a pilot program for the EWE group of companies, a, a global leader that's servicing the automotive and, and other industries. EWE, like many global multinational companies, uh, requires a method for tracking its people's training. 
people are its greatest expense, just like most, most leading companies. And as such, Iwi and its companies understand that investing in people uh, has great returns for the business. In order to track all of that, prior platforms had, had required human beings to sort of collect data and then agglomerate them into spreadsheets. Um, very 1999. On the Amosite platform, that's all streamlined. So managers will be able to look at uh, cohorts, regardless of where they are on the globe, check their upskilling and assign them to new upskilling. That's really important because it is the rate limiting step. Talent is the rate limiting step in executing new technologies. And study after study shows that companies like Iwi, who invest in training, are more profitable and grow faster. Anne Marie, talk to us about your business model. How do you make money? How we make money and how we sell is very simple. We're a B2B SaaS company. We operate on a standard SaaS model, a license fee and user fees that scale uh, the, the size of the cohort that's, uh, that's taking classes from our customer. We also have fees for course creation and maintenance fees. We can move courses that exist onto the platform very easily, or our partners are able to launch courses themselves. With drag and drop simplicity, our partners can create courses on the Amosite platform with a feature we rolled out last fall called Manage. Uh, that makes it super, super easy for people to create curriculum and launch it on the platform, sometimes in as, as little as a day. Anne Marie, give us some highlights on your background, professor, University of Michigan. I think you hold several patents as well. And, and how did you uh, come to develop the Amosite platform? Yeah, my own background is I'm an engineer. All my degrees are in mechanical engineering and applied mechanics. Uh, after I finished my doctorate at Cornell, I went off and programmed at the Big Cray at Sandia National Laboratory, where I did computational work. From there, I went to University of Michigan, where I was on the faculty for 17 years. I was the turnout professor of mechanical, biomedical, and material science and engineering. I ran two large research centers, one in bioscience and one in clean tech, and also created a large global graduate program online. At the time I created that program, the tools I felt to, that I had to work with uh, were inferior to other internet experiences. In fact, I felt that learning was probably the worst experience on the internet. So having started my first company, SACTI3, and sold it, I decided to return to education and address this problem. Really what the space needs are companies that are focused on the user experience. And those companies have been very, very successful in the SaaS world, but the education world has been largely untouched. When we look at the players in the industry, we believe that most of them could uh, quite likely become our customers. So we look at uh, building partnerships, not only with companies, with higher ed, but also with uh, providers in, in the ed tech world to give users a better experience in learning. Anne Marie, let's sum up today. What's the main takeaway for investors? Why should they consider owning your stock today? I will note that Benchmark does have a $7 target and a buy rating on your stock today. We address markets that exceed a trillion dollars. There are acute needs, the product is proven, and we have almost limitless ability to gain new customers. We've proven ourselves and our product, and the product receives very, very high ratings, notably over 98% retention on the platform. So in summary, we follow a model that's been successful in many other industries, a B2B SaaS model. We're addressing enormous markets, and we're meeting a key need with a proven product. We're very, very optimistic about the future. Excellent, thank you so much for being with us today, Anne-Marie. You're welcome, thank you, Dave.